The first Governor Newsom, now L.A. County D.A. George Gascon, mm -hmm. is facing a recall effort. That's right. Critics say he is way too soft on criminals and not doing enough to get justice for victims. And KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is here to explain what's next, mm -hmm. Tom. Yeah, there's a number of steps that will go forward. We'll get to those in just a second here. In order to trigger a recall election, organizers have an uphill battle, and we'll get to more of what they have to do in just a few moments. Recall organizers say they're doing this because Gascon's reforms are emboldening criminals and disrespecting respecting crime victims and their families, but Gascon and his staff, they disagree and say their reforms are working and have widespread support. Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon has only been in office several months and is now facing a recall effort. The county registrar has approved a petition to remove him. That means organizers must now collect about 579,000 signatures in order to trigger a recall vote. I think that I'm a, like a first-hand victim with what's going on and his policies and his directives. Cynthia Carrera supports the recall against Gascon. Her 24-year-old brother Alfredo was murdered in 2019 in an alleged gang shooting and she's worried two of the underage suspects won't get enhancements or be tried as adults under Gascon's directives. My brother and his friend were murdered by two juveniles and one adult. So I get a sense that maybe they were being initiated into a gang. I don't know. Gascon's policies have also drawn backlash among his own staff. Jonathan Hatami is an assistant district attorney who specializes in child abuse and child murder. Recently, he handled the Anthony Avalos case. Under Gascon's directives, the DA's office removed the death penalty option for the two people charged in the little boy's horrific murder. Hatami is suing Gascon for hostile work environment. Among other allegations, he supports the recall effort. In Anthony's case, the really difficult thing about that is George Gascon never met with the family. He's never sat down with me and gone over the evidence. He's never met with the medical personnel who tried to treat Anthony or the witnesses who saw what happened. Hatami says Gascon's policies are disrupting the justice system. Many individuals know there's no more life without the possibility of parole. They know because of elder elder pro they can get out early. A spokesperson for Gascon's political campaign disputes the claims being made against him. Surveys re repeatedly show that the majority of s survivors of violent crime in LA County uh, support policies that favor rehabilitation over simply more incarceration. And I just don't believe, frankly, the fact that this group is supposedly victim-led. It's There are a number of victims who are supporting the recall effort, but really it's being led by a small number of you know conservative politicians in Los Angeles County. Recall organizers would need 10% of LA County voters to sign the petition, a tall order. The deadline is October 27th. Also helping Gascon, his large victory in the 2020 election, almost 230,000 more votes than incumbent Jackie Lacey. Gascon's spokesperson says his policies are working. If you're reducing the number of enhancements that are being applied, the individuals there, they're not being released. They're they're just not spending, you know, additional decades on top of the decades that they're already serving. So those people are still incar incarcerated. They're still in custody today. Nobody who's had an enhancement dropped is all of a sudden walking the streets, roaming free. High profile defense attorney Alexandra Kazarian supports Gascon, but says his office needs to do a better job communicating their new directives. He really is just making good on his campaign promises. And I think that he he told everybody exactly what his plan was, and he's doing what he said he was going to do. The city councils of 14 cities have passed no confidence votes against Gascon. The most recent were Diamond Bar, Azusa, and Santa Fe Springs this week. The effort is being supported by Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva and former District Attorney Steve Cooley, among others. Pat, back to you. All right. Thanks, Tom.